So I'm gonna make a trailer hitch receiver with a flagpole on it and I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I do and let's see how it comes out together. So right now my truck has a two and a half inch receiver and I already have the two and a half inch to two inch adapter block. So this is just gonna slip in here. It's got the hole for the pin obviously, that line up and then I have a two inch square tubing all marked up already with my measurements that I'm gonna be able to just slip in here. I'm gonna drill the holes, slip it in here, and then the flagpole is gonna come straight up out of here. And it's only gonna be about a half inch away from this, but uh, that's all we're gonna need. It's gonna be about a five foot flagpole. All right, so, you guys, so here's my two and a half by two inch adapter for the trailer hitch receiver. Here's my square tubing piece I told you guys about. I drilled out the holes, five eighths to match so the pin fits through, put a cap on the end, rounded it out. It'll look better once I paint it, wipe it down and paint it. Goes right in there. Didn't need a lot of uh, material in the back because it's not going to take any weight. It's not pulling the trailer. It's just going to hold a flagpole. And then put that, that there and the pin goes right through. And then I'm going to weld the, the piece of pipe right here for the flagpole next. Alright guys, so this thing's officially done. It's all welded up. I painted it, so right now I've just got it hanging up here to dry. And then once it's done drying, I'll take it down, throw it on the truck, put the flag on, and you guys can check out the finished product. But for right now, you're officially watching paint dry. Alright you guys, so the flag pull's all done. I'm going to take you around back at the truck to see it. Um, my truck's super dirty right now because of the rain and I drove through that canyon yesterday So there's mud all over my truck and I'm not gonna wash it because it's supposed to keep raining But anyways, let's go check out the flagpole. It's all done. Let's see how it came out. All right, you guys here it is Pretty much built it and maybe a little more than an hour came out pretty good. I like the height of it It's not like it's not above the cab of the truck. It's pretty close to even with the cab and uh, It's pretty close to the bumper like I said uh, obviously I could just take the hitch pin out and remove the whole thing and I could put it in the back seats if I need to drop the tailgate so it came out pretty good now it does block my backup camera a little bit but it's not that bad I, I can still handle with it um, it'll have to do but anyways that's that maybe I'll reroute the uh, backup camera a little lower uh, figure something out no big deal but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. It wasn't supposed to be like a how-to video, but more just like showing you guys what I was doing a little bit, you know, coming along with the flagpole builds and stuff like that. Alright you guys, I gotta admit it. I messed up. This isn't gonna work. So, I know I said that the backup camera being blocked didn't really bother me, but truth be told, it kind of did. I mean, I'm not dependent on the backup camera, but I do like it. I mean, that's why I have it. So I was trying to reroute it, so I actually took these tech screws out and took it out and was trying to reroute it somewhere down here, I was trying to figure something out, and then it dawned on me. You can't see the license plate from the back. And obviously your license plate has to be visible, it can't be covered, and I don't want to get pulled over and get a ticket for that. So this just isn't going to work. I wish I realized it sooner or thought of it in the beginning. But um, I mean I could have made it higher, but really it's already like at the top of the cab. I don't want it to be super high. So instead, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut the flagpole off. I already made this piece with the hole in the cap, so I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to cut this off, clean it up, and put another square tubing offset here to about right here, and then put my flagpole there up. So it's just going to offset over and flagpole up here, and the flag will be more over here, and then it won't be blocking my license plate or my backup camera. So hopefully you guys are interested in seeing that video. Obviously I'm still going to post this one even though I messed up. Uh, just because why not. So hopefully you guys are interested in watching the next one. And I'll see you when I post that. Alright, talk to you later.